Hello everyone, I'm John, this is Sean, All right. and this is Everyday Food Reviews. Today, we have been to a Turkish restaurant called The Sheesh in St. Helens. Yep. So we've got a bag of food there. Yep. Um, so I'm, I'm not even sure what's in it, uh, but John's been there before. Yes, I've been there before. I've eaten in the restaurant and I, I've uh, had a, a few takeaways from there. Um, so yeah, I will show you what we've got. So we have this greeted with a, a, a brown bag of it's like a garlic bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it smells uh, spicy. We have a, a little tray of uh, salad. Yep. So that'll be, I think that's all for you, that mate. Well, this is interesting. This is um, it's all chopped up. It's like a uh, salsa or something. It's got um, tomatoes, cucumbers, and red onions. So that's, that's quite fragrant. It's so, uh, so I don't know if that's just tomato juice or a dressing in there, but I imagine that would be quite nice. And then what we've got for our mains, we've got two, one each, uh, a sheesh special. So it comes in the restaurant, let's get rid of that bag. In the restaurant, it comes with rice, uh, a lamb chop, actual uh, Q diced lamb, diced chicken, uh, and then a dana, which I think is similar to a lamb kofta. I couldn't tell you. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. <laughs> it, it smells good. Yeah. Benefits of a, a takeaway uh, that me and a few of my friends uh, have, because that's who we get it with regularly, they put the rice on the bottom and then they put all the meat on the top and all the juice soaks into the rice. Mm. And it, it makes, it turns it absolutely delicious. See there, it's all orange from the... Uh, juice and spices and whatever. Yeah. It is. It's absolutely delicious. Like whereas in the restaurant, if when you sit down, obviously it's we. I've I've had to drive 15, 20 minutes to get this home. But then in the restaurant, you know everything's going to be like straight off the barbecue, uh, and you know straight onto your plate and straight in front of you. So it's going to be maybe a little bit fresher and a little bit hotter. Uh, but the rice isn't. Um, the rice hasn't managed to soak up any juice. Uh, because they do it separate in one of them like posh little you know upside down bowl yeah things like i don't know what they're called so so yeah yeah it smells good um the the, the main aroma i'm getting from this is like a, a barbecue char grilled sort of aroma mm. um, so another benefit um to getting a takeaway from the sheesh is it's actually cheaper as mm -hmm. well than it than in store so i believe this is about 13 pounds as a, as a main as a main meal in the restaurant mm -hmm. uh, and we pay £10 uh, when it's a takeaway yeah that's £10 each yes um, I was a bit if I'm honest I was a little bit put off when John told me that this single container was going to be a tenner um, however you do get this this bag of bread and this bowl of salad I mean that this is between two people we got this with both the mains, yeah. um, rather than one each, but it it sort of it softens the blow a little bit, and the, the meat does look very nice. And um, yeah, it's I'd say it's it's going to be more expensive than um, most takeaways you'd get. Oh, so this is well, what did you say? This was Adana. Yeah, so this oh I can't it's, there's rice falling off it. <laughs> we'll we'll wipe the counter afterwards. So that's. What John's suggesting is like a shish kofta or something. That's that's what it looks like to me. It's just a, a sort of flattened out, sort of char grilled one. It looks nice. It's got uh, chopped up, uh, what's that? Uh, red peppers or chilies, and it's got uh, mm. chives in it as well. Get straight into it, mate. Mm -hmm. I want you to try it because I've I've had this a few times and I just love how like even the meat is just so moist and tender. Um, the rice is nice with all the juice in it. Yeah, the rice is is very moist and very salty. Um, it, it's hard to get much flavour past the flavour of the salt, um, okay. but it, it does. Uh, it tastes better than just normal rice. Yeah. Hmm. It was definitely a very savoury flavour to the rice. It, it's not. It's not got. It's, it doesn't seem to have picked up as much sort of spiciness as I thought, but then. When you're describing this to me, it sounded like something that was going to be very spicy, but I think I've just mm. got the wrong idea of what a Turkish barbecue sort of restaurant is. Okay. It's um, because you said uh, this morning it's not really spicy as such. No. It's more just seasoned and barbecued. Yeah. 
Well, the chick chicken looks good. We're we going to get a thumbnail or something for this. How are we going to do that? Um, oh, did we show the the, the takeaway boxes? Mm -hmm. We did. Maybe we can try and pull that off that. I showed it while you were talking. Okay, so maybe it's okay. So maybe our thumbnail is going to be okay. That chicken's very nice. It tastes like it's very smoky. It, it tastes like a sort of proper outdoor charcoal sort of summer barbecue sort of thing. Mm. Um, it it is sort of orangey in colour, so I'm guessing there's some sort of like marinade on there. Marinade, but I'll be honest, that's not coming through much past the smokiness. To be honest, okay. You say okay. What what do you think? I don't. <laughs> it's hard for me because I, I've had this quite a few times now. So, and I just think it's absolutely delicious. It's almost like my perfect meal. You can still describe how it tastes, like what the flavours are. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's try some of this it's, Yeah, it's hard to, it's, I think it's hard to describe what kind of marinade is on it. Mm. Um, and you do get that smoky, like barbecue. It does taste like it's just come straight off a of barbecue, mm. which is, I like that, personally. It's not over, t it's not like too charcoal-y. And I don't think that, that it's not overpowering, like, smoky flavour. It's just, it's quite, it's, it's there, obviously. No, it's, it's very present. I don't think it's overpowering. It's really, it, yeah. it is very, very present, though. Hmm. The bread's nice. The bread is, um, it's got sesame seeds on it. It's almost like a sesame seed flatbread. Hmm. Well, parts of it are quite thick, though. That's a bit uh, thicker and... Softer than you might expect a flatbread to be. Try some Uridana. I'm interested to see what you think of that. There's cumin on, on the bread as well. That's what that flavour is. You can't taste the sesame much, but you can taste you can taste the cumin. It's, it's nice. It's, it's a bit different. I don't think I've had bread like that before. You'll see why I think that's like a kofta. Mm. Yeah, now having tasted it, those aren't chilli peppers in there. They'd be a lot hotter if it if it were. Um, it doesn't it doesn't taste overly seasoned. It's it's a very it's a very meaty taste. It's a much meatier. There's onion flavor. in there as well. It's almost like a it it comes across as a bit like a Turkish meatloaf. Yeah. Yeah, the, the flavour of the meat, I think, is um, at the forefront of that, which I didn't expect to look at it. Um, but that, that's good, because a lot of the time, a lot of places will use cheap meat and then season it, make it spicy to sort of compensate for that. This, mm. this is, is, is it's nice meat, even though it's all minced up like that. That's good. We tried some of your lamb as well. Um, is that what this is? Yeah. So it's chicken, lamb, adana, and a lamb chop. Mm hmm. Hmm. Mm. The lamb's delicious. That's easily the best best thing so far. Um, I've not tried the lamb chop yet, but the that those lamb pieces are incredible. They're moist. They're smoky. Um, I'm getting a little bit of spice to those that I wasn't getting from the chicken. Um, Everything's beautifully cooked, yeah. like, personally to me anyway. I think that's why I keep going back there. Yeah. Um, the lamb chop is, is, is lovely as well. I like how there's like, it seems like there's different seasonings and mm. different marinades on each each of the meats. Yeah. So it gives them like a unique flavour. So not like, you know, so even though we've got this in a takeaway box, the chicken and the lamb doesn't taste the same. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's easy to differentiate between the two. Yeah. Uh, which I think is good. I think this um, this salad does have um, some sort of dressing or something. It's... Um, right. it's Mix some red onion. It's like a... Like a vinaigrette. Yeah. Uh, there's bits of um, coriander in there, and there's something that's like red 
flakes that almost looks like a bit like a chili a bit like a chili powder yeah but um, very minimal it's it doesn't look fine enough to be paprika or chili powder mm. though so I'm, I'm not sure what that could be um but yeah the salad tastes fine it's better it's certainly better than your average sort of takeaway side salad but then at the same time it's also different it's um tomatoes cucumbers and onion rather than you know, shredded cabbage or lettuce, and the and it's a bit more expensive because it's it is coming from like a sit down restaurant. Mm. So we've put up a menu, mm. and we'll take a couple of photos of the menu and show them so you can see how much everything is. Because I, I believe this is one of the more expensive things on the menu. Yeah, so it's the special. So it is. It is so you get a few bits of everything. Mm -hmm. um, you can get just like a chicken wings or a, you, you could just, um, as a main, uh, lamb chops. Um, <clears throat> I think you can also just get like the, you know, the chicken and the lamb as well. But it's not something that um, I've had before because I usually just get the special. Even when I'm sat in there, I think I've only ever had the special. I've had a few of the other little bits of starters. Like the chicken wings are actually very nice and we've had the king prawns. They're good, but yeah, the main meal's always been the special. And when you say as a main, um, does that mean that it's going to come with the bread and the salad and the rice? Um, I, I believe it, it definitely comes with the rice and you always, when you sat down in there you always get bread like in a kind of in a basket anyway. Mm. So I think that's why they give you this as a takeaway. So yeah, when you're sat in there at least if there's just two people, like me and my girlfriend have been there and they just put like a basket of bread on the, in the middle of the table for us. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, I've probably not... I will assume that they do provide the salad. It's probably something that I've just left on the side of the plate and took no notice of. Yeah. Um, but that's just me. Mm. The um, lamb chop's very nice. It's... um. So I just took a bite. <laughs> it's okay. I'd say it's perhaps a bit redundant because with having the... The dice one. The dice one. Um, I'd say that seems to be a little bit more seasoned, a little bit more flavourful, and um, it's not so fatty like the lamb chop. Mm. Like I cut into the lamb chop, it took, took a bit of the actual meat, and not. Um, once the video's finished, I'll pick it up by the bone and finish it. But um, it, it was uh, noticeably more fatty in texture. Mm. Um, so it was nice, but I can't help but feel it's just a bit of a redundant novelty when you've got the other lamb there. Say if that was diced beef and they were chucking in a lamb chop, um, that, that, that'd that be fine, but I don't think... So do you think you'd prefer to swap the lamb chop for a bit more extra diced lamb? Um, yeah, well, not necessarily. Um, I mean, it would only probably be two more cubes of diced lamb. Yeah. Because it's, you know... I wouldn't necessarily go to the effort of swapping it, but I think in... In an ideal world, there would um, the lamb chop would be more at home here if it was cubes of diced beef right, rather okay. than lamb. So you're not having so much lamb because to, to me the lamb the lamb chop is just it's very similar to the diced lamb. Yeah. It's just not as good. Okay. I think the other when we, uh, we had this um, like last week, me and me and my girlfriend, and they actually had they'd ran out of a dana and they just supplied us with extra chicken, mm. which was quite nice. Um, but yeah, no, I think overall, you know, I've, I've spoke a lot about it to Sean in the past and you know, in messages and uh, I think it comes across quite easily on the video that I've had this quite a few times just mainly because I really enjoy it. Mm. Um, as I said, everything's cooked beautifully. I love how the way the juice runs into the rice when you get it as a takeaway. Um, for me, it's a, it's a complete meal as in everything that I love. Uh, I think personally, for me, if you if you look, I think if I was to give this a rating, I would give it like a nine or nine point five because I think it's like it's top tier. Mm -hmm. um, but then it should be because it is restaurant quality. Yeah, uh, and it's you know it's just put into a a container for me for the convenience of me bringing home and just enjoying in front of the TV. Um, I'll be I'm I'm, I'm enjoying it. I think it's lovely food. I'd be a lot happier with it if I was getting it on too good to go. So if I was spending four pound for random bits of meat and some rice and some salad, like the one we had at Brem Brazil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that would. Yeah, once much. it's on the plate, it doesn't look too dissimilar. No, 
Um, so that that would sit much better with me. Um, but in terms of a rating for me personally, um, I'm not a big fan of rice in general. But as rice goes, this is very good. Um, but I'd, I'd be concerned going in there to eat in a restaurant and paying more money and the rice not being as good because it's not a chance to soak everything up. Um, t ten pound for a little takeaway box and half a carton of salad and half a bag of bread just seems like a lot of money to me. Okay. Um, compared to other things we've had. Um, but then again, the other the other places we've been to, uh, say in, in Liverpool, uh, that's a lot nearer for me. If you're not in Liverpool and you're in St. Helens, then you don't necessarily have those same options. But I wouldn't be able to give this more than probably... 7.5 okay um, mainly because of the value and I, I feel like uh, it, it might just be my ignorance to Turkish food but I feel like the, the, the meat could be a bit uh, spicier there could be a bit more sort okay. of season in there um, the, the bread tastes more seasoned than the meat I feel um, but I, I'd still say that the, the meat is, is excellent quality the, the bread's delicious, the rice is, is delicious as rice goes, the, the salad is a lot better than you would expect from a, a takeaway, especially a, a kebab shop, um, which th this ultimately is a kebab. Yeah, it? Um, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, I, I'd, I'd say 7.5, maybe, maybe 8. Yeah. If, if I had a higher paying job, I'd probably say 8. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe it's just that 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 is. It. Maybe your, yeah, the, just the value is getting to you a little bit. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, but then, I'll, like, I, I, I'll hap I'd happily argue with you all day long that it's because it's a restaurant and not a takeaway place. So when we've been to Liverpool and got like, when we did the Botan or the Tarine, it's like we they were okay spending four, five, and six pound because it was like we we couldn't sit in there anyway and yeah, joke. But no, I think that's one of the first reviews we've had a. Very clear difference on as well. I don't. There's been a couple. That, I think one of the McDonald's ones I rated. You you, you were very disappointed with the Canadian stack. Mm. You gave that a, a dis, disproportionately low score for what I felt should have been pretty much the same score as the rest of the Fair promotional enough. menu. Um, yeah, I think other than that, we've agreed on most of the things pretty yeah. much. Um, but yeah, I think like like I say that the, the only reason is I, I've got no sort of. Um, emotional attachment to it I'm trying to be objective yeah, and yeah. I, I, I'll be honest it, it might be me I might be biased towards incorporating value into the scores too much but for me I can't give it more than a, an 8 with the with the value like I said I'd be inclined more 7.5 yeah no that's, that's just, good just based on the value that's good so, so yeah it's, it's still very good it's no, still it's, very good yeah yeah so it's still a good score and it's it's, um, it's delicious food yeah. I don't. I don't think you'd be disappointed if if you can afford it. You won't be disappointed with it. So yeah, I just wouldn't recommend going there very often, um, unless you can definitely afford to. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, well, I've got nothing <laughs> else to add. Yeah, I, th I, th I think I've been quite. Uh, I think I've been as comprehensive as I can be. Yeah. So yeah, we'll just finish the food. Yeah. Thanks very much for joining us, guys. We'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>